Hi, my name is Atede Ladislaus. I'm the founder and managing partner of Untold Global, a Pan-African company with interest in strategic comms, healthcare and agriculture. We have been devising solutions, customized solutions uh, that have seen us work for heads of states, governments, private sector, as well as blue chip companies in Africa and the rest of the world. Untold Global itself has three major subsidiaries, as I had mentioned, uh, which are healthcare, strategic comms, as well as uh, agriculture. On strategic comms, uh, this is basically advising uh, governments, heads of states, and different uh, personalities with regards to how they can manage their communications effectively. And I have been involved in a number of projects uh, with regards to that, not just in, t in Zambia, but also in Ghana, in America, in Asia, that's Philippines, in Nigeria, and a lot of other countries. It started way back in 2014 when I was appointed to be part of the delegates in the highest body of um, decision making in the country, which is the Constituent Assembly. And this only happened once uh, where we had, uh, the, the country had decided to take a step in transforming the constitution so that it can fit best uh, the needs and the requirements of different citizens. So I was the youngest member of parliament then in 2014 and this had really exposed me to uh, the very, the highest level um, of decision making where we had to make decisions on behalf of the, uh, of the citizens primarily so that uh, we can see how best to, uh, to make a conducive environment that will at the end of the day uh, benefit the citizens but also create a better bridge between the citizens and the governments. Also I have been involved in campaign management as well as uh, advisory in various countries from 2014 until date which has made me work for different heads of states different governments uh, and high profile people. This has not been an easy job uh, to be honest but it has really um, uh, made me get exposed but also I have been able to transform really uh, the, 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 the way communication is actually done with regards to high profile people. Uh, in the past everyone believes that traditional communication and traditional approaches were the best but currently the biggest voter uh, demographic is the young people and they need to be followed in the digital uh, platforms and other areas where they are in an approach that actually uh, will be responsive on their side. Hence the involvement of young people in uh, key strategies um, as, as well as in key areas where strategies are being planned for the betterment of not just the present generation but also the future gen generation. Apart from that, uh, Untold Global also has the second subsidiary of Untold Global is uh, healthcare and we do have a pathology lab in Zambia. It's called HEALIT, which is basically HEAL IT. So it's a blend between medical as well as IT. So we use IT in each and everything that we do. We try as much as possible to, um, to make the lab more of a technological lab. And we started way during the COVID times. So when COVID hit, um, that's when I got the idea and, uh, and felt we want to be part of uh, the companies that are going to positively uh, help in the global um, uh, challenges, especially the pandemic that uh, arose. And that's when uh, Hilit was born. And Hilit was a paper, is a paperless lab uh, that is a third world, it's a first world lab in a third world country. And told global state subsidiary is in agriculture and our approach has been very different. We've been doing more conservation. And um, the main uh, reason why we started agri on the agri side is Zambians generally like game meat, but they do not know where to get it. So there is an increase in, uh, in, in poaching and uh, so that people can actually have both trophies and the meat. So we thought we can come in to, breed, to, uh, to help in conservation by making game meat readily available. So we followed all the necessary procedures and eventually ended up uh, pros uh, culling and processing game meat and making it readily available to the citizen. So they know where to get it. It is legal game meat. It is ec um, e economically friend uh, ecologically friendly as well as um, it is meat that uh, is actually good for the for human uh, health. So that's the third uh, subsidiary. So we do have an outlet as well as a meat processing plant where we process uh, game meat, but this comes into 
um, in, in, in the form of uh, prime cuts, the loin, the, uh, la, the, the loin, uh, the minced meat, loin, loin fillet and rum, uh, which is also processed later into biltong, into sausages and different other varieties. So we're playing part in both conser conservation, but also in uh, ensuring that uh, we cater for the for the demand uh, in the market. But also we've gone an extra uh, mile in uh, in actually keeping animals as well as trading in uh, in in import of fruits and vegetables uh, from in Tanzania as well as in Zambia. My leadership philosophy revolves around encouraging as well as empowering and promoting leadership abilities in each and every uh, individual around me. The teams that I always work with, who I refer to them as my colleagues, not employees necessarily, are people that I believe they've got an element of leadership in them. And as we grow um, the company, I'd always take an approach of trying to grow them personally in what they want to achieve and then as we grow them uh, or we grow individual desires then we end up growing also the company's uh, vision as well as uh, the company's uh, plans so i always believe that in every young person in every um, person that i work with there is an element of leadership and by helping them grow in what they want will eventually motivate them and then keep them in the company and also at the end of the day we'll all grow together furthermore i do believe in providing a very friendly environment, especially empowering young people, because these are my fellow young people and I do understand their ability, I understand their frustrations, I do understand what their desires are, and I feel having a platform that can help them or expose them to the world through learning and through having a younger person in the company will make them know that anything is achievable. So I always like to work with young people uh, so that we can easily mold each other and also be able to have a different innovative approach towards uh, diff running the company as well as making various decisions rather than using the conventional way, especially uh, that most of uh, the, the three uh, subsidiaries of the company are bordered on tech, innovation, but as well as uh, responding to the current demands and, and, and that uh, um, provides a better environment for having young people around who are passionate and focused. In the next three to five years, I envision learning and also growing the company, not just to cater for the regional um, demands, but also continental as well as outside the continent. Currently, we started in only one country, but we've been in over three, four countries currently, but also we want to be able to expand and impact more lives, uh, especially in the social area of, um, of, demand, of, of works. I also understand that this might be a very big vision, but uh, from time to time, we always have to set goals that are way ahead of us so that we can be able to be motivated to work tirelessly in achieving that because the room is actually there. Lastly, uh, it's always to commit God um, in each and everything that we do. There's a lot of moments where you feel down, you feel there's maybe losses, you feel there's challenges, but when you commit uh, your business, your desires, your goals, your determination, and also the pureness of your heart, uh, to uh, to him, then you get motivated uh, to know that you're doing the right thing and also you get an extra energy to just focus and be able to achieve. Lastly, uh, it's a word of encouragement to my fellow young people and also the women uh, around there. Anything is actually possible when you put in the hard work, when you also focus, but most importantly is consistency. Whenever you feel let down, don't let that uh, be a demotivation to you but use it as a stepping stone so that you can be able to now move to the next step um, and keep the focus and keep the consistency. Everyone who I know of that has done very well in business has always used that one word, consistency and hard work. So everything is actually very, very possible. It is within our reach, but we should work hard. Nothing comes um, easy and nothing comes in a silver plate.
catch me on the next edition of Bang Magazine, where I will be as the feature and the cover story. And uh, you will have the opportunity to learn more about my story and my journey to success but also you'll be able to understand the challenges that I've encountered and how I've been able to mitigate them. But also you have the opportunity to listen to or rather read um, a number of stories that are featured from different other women, young people and different people in the private sector. I think it will be an edition that you should not miss, so make sure that you get your copy once the edition is out. Thank you.